New at 10 tonight with more people moving to Greenville, some longtime residents seeing drastic changes in their neighborhoods and those changes leading to people being priced out and pushed out, especially in those historically black neighborhoods. But as Fox County's Katie Harris shows us, local community leaders are trying to change that. We gather here to delve into an important and timely topic. Solutions often begin with conversation. The Lynx Incorporated and Delta Beta Boule of Greenville set the stage for just that. So I think it's critically important that members of our, the black business and political community come together and address this important problem. The problem? Gentrification. When wealthy people move into working class or poor communities, often leaving people priced out and pushed out. The word gentrification in itself is not a bad thing. It's displacement, which is the, the challenge there. Displacement is not just a Greenville issue. It's a nationwide issue, which is why this panel includes experts from other cities like Atlanta and D.C. Gentrification often paves the way for new development and quality of life improvements, but, but the real key is making sure that as that new investment comes into play again, that those longtime residents can benefit from that new investment. But how? And it's a lot easier to do it in the early stages before prices go way up and then it's too late. Local experts have said right now Greenville is in a critical time. A recent study by Furman found over the past 30 years, Haney Serene, one of Greenville's oldest black neighborhoods, has seen an 85% decline in black residents. So how do you get the benefits of gentrification without displacement? From affordable housing to entrepreneurship, and to policy and policy frameworks. Like inclusionary zoning policies in Atlanta, which require all new developments offer around 20% of units as affordable, creating mixed income communities. Panelists talked it out to get ahead of vast displacement seen in neighboring cities. And that's really perhaps the future of what could happen in Greenville. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News.